The other day I proposed an idea for doing a blacksmithing advent calendar or a countdown to Christmas with simple projects from the blacksmith shop. But I didn't have enough really good ideas to pull this off. So I asked you folks out there on YouTube to give me some suggestions. You guys came through great. I have over 50 things written down, some of them from multiple people, so a lot of, a lot of these ideas came from a half dozen different people. But I haven't even been through all of the comments from that video yet. I'm still wading through those, trying to figure out which ideas are duplicates because I'm starting to forget what I've already written down on my list here. And while the original idea was to do one project a day from December 1st through Christmas Day, I have so many ideas, I figured we might as well get started early. So I'm going to try and do one a day starting today through Christmas Day. So there should be one on Christmas. Most of these projects are not Christmas specific, nor are they holiday specific. Some of them will be. There will be ornaments and wreath hangers and stocking hangers and things of that sort. But a lot of them, like today's project, can be used any time of the year. They're good beginner projects, people just starting out in blacksmithing, good craft show items, good gift items. So just because I have a Christmas tree in the picture doesn't mean you shouldn't watch this video even if it's July. But today's project, I thought we would make a simple coat hook. And this particular coat hook is made out of half inch round bar and it starts off nine inches long. Super simple project. You can probably do one of these in about a half an hour in your own shop. Now, while I am sure I saw suggestions in the comment section for a coat hook, right now I can't find it in my list. Maybe I haven't actually written it down yet. So I don't remember who all suggested this, but if you suggested a coat hook, thanks for the idea. So let's head over to the forge. I've already got a piece of half inch stock heating up over there and let's get started. So we're going to start with our piece of half inch round bar and we're just going to taper it out in one dimension and let it flare in the other dimension. So if you just forge that out on the face of the anvil you get this nice little fishtail effect. Kind of looked at this with the door poles the other day. It doesn't come out even. You can kind of clean it up, make sure there's no little sharp corners. It does help if you file or grind the ends clean first so there's not a sharp burr from cutting. So that's all of our first step there. Then I just want to scroll the end of this over a little bit. You need to make sure this is all smooth enough and no sharp edges. Somebody's going to be hanging their coat on this, or their hat, or something. Or maybe just a kid's backpack. And that's, and that's really all I want to do at this point to the first end. I want to do exactly the same thing to the second end. And this looks just the same as what we did on the other end. I'm going to draw this out just a little bit further, get just a little bit more length out of this. Now something to think about, when we scroll this other end up, we want it to go the opposite direction of the first one. We don't want them to end up on the same side of the bar. So we'll scroll this over. I don't think I'm going to wrap this one up as much. I'm going to make this my top hook, someplace where somebody might hang their hat. And sometimes people like wider hooks for their hats than they do for a coat. That's all just aesthetics though. That's just entirely up to you. Now before I actually shape the hook, I think I want to go ahead and put two holes in this. And we're going to want them up towards the top hook because the bottom hook will cover up the hole if we're not careful. 
So we need to leave enough space that our bottom hook won't overlap the hole and make it impossible to get the screw in. Now, so I've got a place to put the holes. I'm going to start with a ball punch. It's about a half inch diameter ball on the end of this. And you want to put the ball on the same side as the, or the dimple you're going to create, on the same side as the top hook's scroll. So it'll be the front side of the hook that you're creating this little dimple in. This is a little bit tough with the round bar. This is some place where somebody to help hold this would really be nice. So if one of you guys want to jump off the, jump out of YouTube there. I don't generally like the hold it between your legs method. Especially since my anvil is a little bit taller than I am. But this will help. You just want to create a nice dimple here that gives you a place to punch later. By putting two of these in here, your hook will be more stable. Somebody commented on the ram's head hook we did a while back. I only put one in, and it would be good with two. Get another heat on that. See, it worked once. But if you got a friend that wants to come over and help hold this, you can make several of these and they can take some home. You want to drive these in until the swell is about the same on both. Then I'm going to punch these, and we usually punch front and back, but because there's no way to support that, I'm going to do it all from the front. And I have the smallest punch I have. I probably wouldn't mind one slightly smaller, but this will be okay. And I then have a bolster this fits into, and that will allow us to punch all the way through from one side without having to flip it back and forth. But I'll start right here at the, on the face of the anvil. It kind of sticks to the punch. I'm just going to have to eyeball it to line it up with the bolster. Easier than it seems like. That's through, I think. Well, almost through. It's hanging on just a little bit. You don't want to go too far or you just end up stretching the hole with the tapered punch, which sometimes I want to do, but not in this case. So there's one hole. Straighten that out a little bit. Let's punch the second hole. There we have two nice holes through our hook stock. Oop, this one didn't quite clear, did it? It's just the slug not wanting to break off, but now it's off. And right, straighten everything back out a little bit. The next thing I want to do is bend this top hook. First thing I'm going to do is cool this off because it's going to want to bend right where the hole is. 
but it's so much easier to punch the holes first. You just want to bend that forward. But I don't like it leaning forward. I want it to curve back a little bit. So that to do that, I'm going to go ahead and cool the end off now. And I'm going to use a rawhide mallet. And that's pretty much the shape that I want. That just gets that away from the wall enough that you can hang your hat or your coat on there. I think I'll go ahead and put my touch mark on here while it's in this state before I bend this other hook. And as usual, I think I'm just going to do that under the treadle hammer. I think I'm going to put it right here. Just like I did with the other end, I've cooled the areas off that I don't want to bend. And I'm going to bend this in a fork. I think this is the easiest way to do this. And it guarantees you don't crush this and it just gets a nicer bend in there. We do need to straighten that out a little bit. We can still do that in the fork. That we may need another heat. I just want to straighten the back of that out just a little bit so it's straight. Now it's a little bit crooked here. I think we'll fix that in the vise. So we can just put that in the vise. Take our twisting wrench and straighten it out. We'll give it a nice wire brushing. And then as it cools, we'll put some paste wax on it. We have a super simple coat hook as the first thing for our countdown to Christmas. The holes on these fit a number 10 wood screw very nicely and I like to use round head wood screws because it gives the appearance of a rivet down inside and I think that really enhances the appearance. So this gives you an idea of the complexity of the projects that we're going to be working on as part of this Countdown to Christmas project. Quick, simple projects that are still nicely done, nicely forged, something you can go out to your own shop and do in a half an hour in the evening, an hour maybe, perhaps a few hours on the weekends you can do several of them, but things that you can enjoy working on and perhaps still give as gifts or use around your home or your shop. Just because it's a simple project doesn't mean it lacks style, doesn't mean it isn't a desirable project. These would be great hooks if you made them in a series to hang on a board or just hang on the wall or hang them around the shop to hang tools on. Lots of things you can do with a hook like this besides just hang your hat on it. Again, I don't recall who suggested coat hook. I don't have it in my notes, but I know I saw it in the comments section. So whoever suggested doing coat hooks, Thank you very much. We may look at some other versions of coat hooks as part of this project, but we'll see. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Love it if you hit that subscribe button. Stick around, watch a few of the other videos, but then make time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, even if it's a super simple hook, but do it safely, wear your safety glasses, and we'll see you for the next one.